Good morning, my friends. Today, I am bringing you along for a full day of eating and we are starting with breakfast. I have two soft boiled eggs. They got a little more done than I prefer, but it'll, they'll be fine. They are, I'll put points and calories on the screen. I have two slices of my homemade bread along with two teaspoons of butter. So that is my breakfast this morning. So I ended up making bagels today. These are just yeast it bagels. They're not sourdough. They're not two ingredients. They're just plain yeast it bagels. If I knew I was gonna make bagels and then wanna eat one for lunch, I wouldn't have had toast for breakfast, but oh well, it's gonna be a high carb day. So I am going to notice one's missing. I have it in the toaster and I am going to put some tuna salad on it. I'll show you when I have it all together. Not really super hungry, but I'm gonna be eating dinner pretty late tonight. So I decided to have a little lunch. I made bagels, you saw today. So I decided to have a bagel with some tuna on it. It's um, two and a half ounces of tuna with two and a half teaspoons. I had to stop and think of my homemade mayonnaise and a teaspoon of my homemade relish in there. I generally don't like that, but it was there, so I put it in, we'll see. Um, I'll put points and calories, of course, on the screen. Okay, friends, I am heading out to get my Azure order, but I also need to go to Aldi first. We are pretty much out of fruit. Um, there's one banana left. There are no oranges. There are no apples. There are no grapes. There is police activity. Trying to see what it is. Because I'm a nibby nibby. Um, you know, you got to keep an eye on your neighborhood. Um, so I need to go get some produce. And what else do I need it? Aldi. I need some half and half. I think that's it. Um, you'll see that haul tomorrow on my menu plan. And then I'm going over to pick up my Azure order. The truck is due at 5.30. It is 3.40 now. The truck's due at 5.30, but they like us there a half an hour before because they always run ahead of schedule. So I just plan on flying through Aldi and then going over to get my Azure order. I have my book with me so I can sit and read if the truck's not there, whatever. Um, had a very productive day. It was just me and Jack today. So we made the bagels. Um, what else did we do? We built a lot of towers. Jack loves building towers when no one else is there because then no one knocks them down. So we did a lot of block building today and went outside because it was gorgeous. Yesterday was 33 degrees with the real feel of 24 and crazy winds. Today it is 60 with a real feel of 64. No wind, bright sunshine. So so it was gorgeous. Um, and that's good because like I said, we were out playing and we were kind of stalking the chickens because yesterday, because the weather was so yucky, I figured I'm not gonna go out and collect eggs. I'll wait until the end of the day. I'll go out like when I put the babies down or whatever and then collect the eggs. So I didn't go out until about two. Well, there were a lot of eggs, but when there was a lot of eggs, Sometimes they step on them. I had three broken eggs. And at first I thought, oh my gosh, are they pecking them? Because some chickens do like to peck and eat their own eggs. But you can tell they didn't do that because they weren't eaten. They were just crushed. And let me tell you, they would have eaten them if they did it on purpose. Like, they probably didn't even realize what they did. So that was three eggs we lost yesterday. And we are really low on eggs right now because we have picked up a couple of new egg customers um, and I'm really trying to accommodate everyone. So we're a little bit low on eggs right now. We've got 
I mean, I say low. I have enough for me, but if anybody um, needs eggs, I, I'm, I was low. So I'm like, the last thing I need is three eggs to be broken. Um, but it's all good, so all good. And luckily, one of our customers is on vacation and doesn't come back till next week. But I'm sure on Monday or Tuesday, she'll want two dozen. We have a standing order every Tuesday. Somebody gets a dozen. Um, somebody else in town on the weekends comes over and picks up a dozen or two. So, plus we use a lot of eggs. I mean, you know, I bake a lot and cook a lot. And there's three of us living in the house now. So, we use a lot of eggs. Um, but anyway, I'm just talking to talk because you're keeping me company while I drive. Uh, I guess that's everything. Um, Adam is in South Carolina, down at Coastal Carolina University for a track meet. He runs tomorrow at 10.50. Bella runs at 10.30, he runs at 10.50. They're both doing the mile. Um, going to say about the L. Unfortunately, it's not live streamed, so I'm kind of bummed because I'd really like to see him, but that's okay. I think next year we're going to do whatever we have to do to be able to go down. Whether, I mean, if it means me taking off a couple days or whatever, I think we're going to try to do it because we haven't been down there for this meet and I really want to go and Adam will be a senior. So that's our plan. We'll see how that goes. Um, they're on the beach today. So they had pre-meet this morning where they just go and do warm-ups, get used to the track, see the layout and all that. They're only there for like two hours or so, and then they come back to the condo. They all have, they have oceanfront condos because it's off-season, so it's really cheap. And it's nice because they have kitchens, so like they went out to like Food Lion or somewhere last night and bought some food. Makes their makes their food budget stretch a little bit because they do because they're a D1 school they do get food allowances and stuff when they travel um, and not just travel overnight like if he travels for a one day track meet they get food allowances um, but it's not a whole lot so they try to make it stretch so by going to Food Lion like they bought eggs and stuff and they made eggs this morning in the condo for breakfast um they like, and I noticed this last year, they like to kind of hoard their money a little bit and then do like one really nice dinner out. So I think that is what, they'll probably go out tomorrow night for St. Patrick's Day is my guess. I don't know. But, so he's there enjoying himself. Andrew substituted today and today was his first day coaching track. So that's exciting. Um... I got off at the wrong exit because I'm talking to you. It's okay. You can go this way. Um, and then Andrew's sub certificate came in and everything was approved and all. So, oh my gosh, he got like eight calls yesterday morning before 6 a.m. And six calls this morning at 5 a.m. for subbing. But he was already scheduled today at his old alma mater. So I think he's going to turn the phone notifications off and he's going to go on like tonight. He's going to go on the computer to the site and choose because they all use a clearinghouse now. Like it's not like the old days where it was the school principal or the school secretary, like, you know, calling the list of substitutes in the morning when they found out somebody wouldn't be there. They put it on a website. It's called ESS or Source for Teachers. They put it on there and anybody that's like approved through this company just goes on and picks whatever assignment they want. So it's kind of nice because you can look like if you know you don't like subbing at a school, but you know you want to work that day, like you can kind of look and go, okay, I don't want that school, but I'll take this school. Whereas if they just call you, you kind of like take what's first offered if you definitely want to work that day. If any of that is making sense. So he's gonna go on tonight. He looked last night and there were several jobs for tomorrow, but he wanted to wait and see what else popped up. Like, cause he's, this is all like new to him. So he's gonna go on tonight and see if he can schedule a, um, 
a job for tomorrow. Now there was, there was one right like literally around the corner from us at the school around the corner from us, but it was a preschool and he's like, no mom, not doing preschool. He's like, fifth grade is the lowest I will go. So there was a, at the school right near us, there was a preschool and there was a special ed and he doesn't feel confident enough to take a special ed class because he is, he only ever had one special ed class in college and he doesn't want to do something like he, he just wasn't comfortable doing that, not having, and it was like a, it was a very young class. So between being young and being special ed, he just wasn't too confident. He didn't want to do a disservice to the children. Um, so he didn't feel that was in his wheelhouse. So that's good. Um, but anyway, and there's a couple long-term sub, sub jobs up there for like three, like three weeks, four weeks. But he has the one at his old high school. So he didn't look at any of those. But anyway, that's that. I am going to hang up from you and I am almost at Aldi. So I am going to go in there, get what I need, and then head on over to uh, my Azure pickup. And hopefully the truck, hopefully I will be early and hopefully the truck will be early. Although it will be nice to sit in the beautiful sunshine and read my book for a little bit. But um, I made soup for today. I, we ended up switching everything around on the menu this week. So. Um, I made soup for today. I ended up making soup and that's all done. So Doug will just have to heat it up when he comes home. It's actually probably still going to be warm because I did it in my cast iron Dutch oven and that stays warm for a very long time. Um, and I had some sourdough dinner rolls in the freezer and I just pulled those out. I didn't make any fresh bread because I made the bagels today. So I just pulled those out so everybody will have a roll and a bowl of soup and that will be good like I said Doug has school tonight Andrew I don't know what time he'll get home from coaching I'm guessing like 5 36 I don't know so that's that I will probably be back I don't know maybe I'll try to film the Azure pickup I'm not sure I usually help unload the truck it gets me some good strength training in lifting those 50 pound bags um, but I'll see if I don't show you the Azure pickup, then I will show you my dinner tonight. So I am here at my Azure drop. I got here really early. The truck's not even here yet, which they like you to get here early. So that's fine. Um, I knew I was going to be really early. So I stopped and got myself a little treat at Wawa. This is a 16 ounce iced chai latte. And it is 180 calories. I have to look up the points. Um, but I think it's a pretty good deal for 180 calories. It's a nice little treat. And I really enjoy it. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy this. And chit chat with some other pickup people. And wait for the truck. Can I say that our driver is always, always early? Okay. <laughs> Not today. He just called our drop coordinator. And he's running late. He hit a ton of traffic. So... Womp womp. No big deal. If I knew that, I would have got a bigger one. Okay, finally home from the Azure pickup. Um, I'll tell you about that after this. And eating dinner, I have crab bisque. It is one serving, actually it's a little less than a serving of crab bisque. And I have one sourdough roll that we pulled out of the freezer and two teaspoons of butter on that roll. Points and cows on the screen and I'll be back to chat. Okay, well I didn't get to show you much of the Azure pickup because I was right up at the truck unloading. Um, makes for a nice workout. So I didn't get to show you a whole lot of that. Um, sorry, maybe one of these times I will. But everything's home, everything's unloaded, everything's filmed, everything's put away. I ate my dinner and now I am going to make the dough for a batch, maybe a double batch, probably a double batch of sourdough English muffins because someone asked me to make them some. So somebody asks and of course I say yes. 
Um, I'm going to finish getting the kitchen cleaned up, get that dough made. The dough has to uh, ferment overnight, so that's why I need to get that made now. And then I'm going to sit and maybe work on my website tonight. It has to get done, I'm not sure. But that was it. That's my day. Oh, random favor here. Random favor. So I have a friend from high school and her daughter is a performer. Right now she works for a cruise line and she does like all the shows and stuff on the cruise line. She sings, she dances, she acts, she does it all. She's phenomenal. And her, what is it? Talent scout, talent agent, her, her, I don't know, whatever it is in showbiz, her manager. I don't know. Anyway, they want her to grow her Instagram presence. Like right now, I think she has like 2,800 followers. They need her to get to 5,000, they said. Because um, it's all about social media these days. So I am going to leave her Instagram handle linked in the description box below. And if I remember, I'll put it on the screen. If you feel so inclined, pop over to Instagram and just give her a follow because she needs it. Because um, that's what they told her to do. And... You know, in her business, that's what it's all about. So if you feel like following her, I would appreciate it. If not, I totally understand. So that's that. Um, yeah, had a great day of eating. I may have some sort of snack tonight just because tomorrow is a day of fasting for us. And I don't want to get a headache and I don't want to get sick tomorrow. So I will probably, what time is it? I will probably have a couple mandarin oranges, probably two mandarin oranges, probably about eight o'clock tonight, just to kind of, yeah. And that's it. So that was my quick little full day of eating, a little bit of chit chat, all that fun stuff. I will be back tomorrow with a menu plan, Azure Hall, Aldi Hall. And then, of course, my weekend vlog. So I've been working on another video. I'm trying to get it done to put up over the weekend, but I'm not sure if it'll get there or not. So I'm going to go get these English muffins made, the dough made, and call it a night. So thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. I truly do appreciate it, and I will see you all in my next video.